The next thing I want to talk about are petrol or diesel vehicles, petrol also gasoline. And uh, the first thing is range. With electric cars right now, you're kind of limited to, uh, I think the most is probably around 300 miles, you know, just under. That's the, the kind of realistic, if you're gonna go, you know, no air conditioner, that kind of stuff. The benefit of a gasoline vehicle or diesel is that you have really long range. You can usually go on the low and normal end, you can go about 400 miles. Uh, in our Subaru, we can get about 500 if we really wanted to, you know, watch our speed and stuff. And you can easily gain mileage. You can easily put some five gallon gas cans in your vehicle or diesel cans and you can fill it up and go. Or think of an RV. An RV has massive tanks and yes, the fuel efficiency is not great, but you can go a long way, right? Some of them you can go almost a thousand miles. And the range is a big thing if you're looking at getting out of a population center, or if you just say there's a major earthquake in California and you just want to get away from the whole West Coast, you want to go to Missouri or something, right? Then you can with one tank fill up, or not even that if you just want to get as far away as you can. One benefit with gasoline or diesel is you have uh, a lot more towing capacity. You can pull a lot of stuff, right? You can pull an RV, you can pull boats, you can pull trailers. Anything you can think of, you can pull behind a petrol vehicle. Right now, electric just isn't to that point. On the large scale, yes, the Tesla Semi is coming out, but on a consumer level, that's just not there. Old Jeeps, Willis Jeeps, uh, just old Model Ts, like really old stuff, is EMP resistant. And again, like with electric vehicles, the chance of an electromagnetic pulse is very low, but if something does, if that does occur, then the, uh, the result is a worst case scenario, okay? Everything that you could possibly imagine, the worst of everything minus nuclear fallout is gonna happen, okay? And it's happening on a widespread scale. And the same thing with security as an electric, that you're a moving vehicle in times that a vehicle is not moving. And you have to be prepared for what's gonna happen if, you be, if you're confronted with a threat.